We begin with an update to a story you'll only see here on NBC 26. As we first reported last week, police records show various violations at several Green Bay spas, including sexual contact. Your Green Bay neighborhood reporter Tyler Job followed up with the police department to get answers. When we do the compliance checks, if there's somebody within that business um, that's performing these duties and they're not properly licensed, that's when we give them the ordinance violation citation. Green Bay Police Investigations Captain Jeff Brester is talking about several spas along Military Avenue after our story aired about some of them violating city law. We first told you about the Gone Spa, Sunrise Spa, and Dream Spa. Several of those violations include at least one employee not having a valid massage license. Despite the violations, these spas remain open. Captain Brester explains why. If there's another licensed therapist within there, they can still work because they have the proper licensing. Records say in December last year, an employee at the Dream Spa was cited for a massage license violation and was the only worker in there. At the time, the employee was told to close the business, but Brester says that closure was temporary. We didn't close it per se, but you just can't have business today because no one's here, or at least at this time, no one's here to, to do any of the work. When we visited the Dream Spa last week for comment, the business was closed. What? Records show in January of this year, police got a call from a customer at the Sunrise Spa claiming sexual contact. Police said a male customer complained that a female worker grabbed him in a, quote, sexual manner. Records state that the customer told officers he did not want to be a victim of sexual assault or press charges, but wanted the spa to be further investigated. There was not enough information for us to move forward with charges. When we visited the Gone Spa, an employee told us police recently stopped by to check her license. She said her license was valid. The owner tells us workers there have massage certificates. And the PD says two weeks ago, the owner of the retail space called police to do a compliance check of the Gone Spa. Captain Brester says police didn't cite the Gone Spa for any ordinance violations, but city inspections cited them for having some personal belongings. Items that were clear that somebody was sleeping there type of thing. It's a violation of, of the, the law to, to live within a business. Captain Brester says police also conduct license checks at other businesses throughout the city, including liquor stores and gas stations. Unless there is a complaint, police do these compliance checks randomly throughout the year. In Green Bay, Tyler Job, NBC 26.